Jeff Stone here with day 67 of the year 2015 at magicreviewed.com with a fresh buzz. It's always a little risky getting a haircut when you do a video every day because if you get a bad haircut, then you know you're going to see it on video for the next little while. Anyway, I don't know if this is a bad haircut, but it is way shorter than I usually get it. But I'm kind of digging the low maintenance thing here. And you know, you get old and you're like, I don't want to do my hair in the morning. So there you have it, guys. So anyway, ignore the buzz. Focus here and here. Bro Gilbert and Paul Harris, uh, Wishbone by Paul Harris Presents. Basic idea, you, um, you know, drinking coffee with your peeps. And uh, I don't have peeps, guys. Anyway, except at Easter time, I get the little yellow ones. Those are good. Anywho, uh, and then you say, we're going to do a little uh, thing. We're going to have you guys make a wish. So you get a couple of coffee stir sticks or whatever. And uh, then you, you say, look, we're going to make a, a wish here. I'm going to make like a wishbone. So, sorry, I went a little out of frame there. There are no switches. I didn't do any little sneaky camera stuff there. But the idea is that you're just lining them up to make like a little kind of a wishbone cross thingy here, okay? So, and then you say, if you want, you could sign the one guy initials that, the girl initials that, or whatever. And after they initial it, you say, okay, let's, we're, I'm going to make, um, uh, break the wishbone while you two make a wish. So then you break the wishbone here, and you can drop the two pieces to the table after you break them, and then you take the two other pieces that you broke, and they're again, they're initialed, and you put them in their hands like this. Again, I know I went out of camera, but there's no switches here. And after a moment of magic, or they feel something happening or whatever, you, they open up their hands, and the pieces are now fused together. Um, and they can keep that. There's no, it's not the glued together or anything there. It's that's like one piece. And they can keep it forever. So that's what you get. That's the effect. Uh, if you don't like the effect, you can stop now and just turn off the video. But if you do like the effect, get it. It's forty or it's thirty-five bucks, and you get forty um, gimmicks, and they're disposable. Each time you do the effect, you destroy a gimmick, and so after forty performances, then and which works out to be eighty-eight cents a performance. And so if you perform for money and you like this effect, this is a no-brainer. But even if you don't, and it's just one of those kind of things that you can do in the right time, the right place, hanging out with friends. If you're more of a casual performer, these 40 will last you forever. So uh, it's going to be up to you on how you want to use it. But if you like the effect, go for it. Okay, It's a done deal. Um, the gimmicks that you get are well made, and they it's everything you need to do the effect. So I had somebody ask um, if I would review this effect and then compare... Um, it's a different stir stick, so I'm not sure what he wanted me to do. Go to every coffee shop in my neighborhood and get all their sticks and see which ones they work and don't. But the thing is, it doesn't matter. This, it doesn't have anything to do with the stir sticks at the coffee shop. Everything you need is you get. So you don't. It's not the kind of thing where you have to have. Um, you, you know, you're putting a gimmick on. A different stir stick or something like that it's not that kind of a thing so it doesn't matter what coffee sticks are like at your um where you where you get your coffee or whatever or in your neighborhood not only that you don't even have to perform it at a coffee shop you can just have these on you and just you know oh look i have these from starbucks or whatever and then do the thing but if you are performing at a starbucks i don't i'm not a coffee drinker so i have no clue I thought coffee stir sticks were plastic and they were like little straw looking things. So I know that those exist as well. But apparently Starbucks has wooden ones. These don't even have to look exactly like the Starbucks ones. It's not the kind of thing that, uh, I mean, people go, what do they do? They grab the coffee stick, they stir the coffee, and they throw it in the garbage. It's not like they hang on to them or anything. So it doesn't matter. All you do is you use your gimmicks to say these are coffee stir sticks. And they are coffee stir sticks, so it doesn't matter. So what? So to answer the question of, I don't remember who posted it, but somebody on my channel uh, asking what kind of sticks do you need? You don't. You just need what comes with your wishbone box. So learning the effect. It's a 23-ish uh, minute video, and it's a download, and you can also stream it, and it streams. It's hosted on Murphy's. There's a um, URL and a password inside of the box, and if you stream it, the advantage of that is... Obviously, A, you can watch it anywhere that has internet access, but B, there's chapter markers. So there's like seven or eight chapters that, and you can just skip to which part of the video you want, you want to watch. When you download it, it's just one MP3, MP4 file, and um, you have to just watch it straight through. 
uh, but it's not that big a deal. It's 20 minutes. You can't skip ahead. There's no chapter markers. I, already, I tried that. So if you're wanting to skip to a certain section, just go check it out on the website. If you want to um, watch the whole thing straight through, you can do that on the website or download it either way. The teaching's great. Bro Gilbert does a great job of covering everything. Um, there's also a bonus trick in there by Andrew Gerard, which is um, it's you hold a stir stick up and just by staring at it and you know and then you bring the fist up you know like you're gonna do the metal bending and then bam the stick just goes crack and it snaps and bends looks exactly like my son's arm when he broke it it's pretty disgusting anyway yeah he really did break it like that anywho um so maybe i'll put a link to the x-ray in the, in the description below it's pretty gnarly so that aside um so you get that bonus effect you get two different handlings uh of of this um of the wishbone effect one is the one i just showed you which is very simple and then there's one that's a little bit more advanced and frankly you don't gain that much um for the with the advanced handling to make it worth doing but even the advanced handling is not that hard um so either way there's there's a handling for for you on there so that's about it the ad copy totally 100 percent accurate it's solid there's no you know sneaky little edits or any of that kind of crap and the wording is exactly what you see or what you read is what you get it's that clean so if you like the effect and you can see yourself doing this it's a no-brainer guys five stars stone status of capital g capital e capital m exclamation point there you have it so now before i tell you to like this video subscribe to my channel and listen to the random iTunes song of the moment. I just wanted to tell you, uh, continue thanks for the contest. You guys have been amazing. I've been getting so many emails and responses and comments and posts and shares and likes and tweets and everything about the contest. And so um, what I've decided, I'm not going to reply to all the contest emails. I'm getting them, though. I'm getting tons of them. Uh, I've got, I'm getting tons from, there's a, probably three or four people that... Um, I'm getting a, a just a just a ton a cubic buttload, as they say, of uh, responses for the the grand prize, which is free Stone Cold Magic for life. Um, so anyway, uh, re I really do appreciate it, guys. And my channel has grown more in the past couple weeks than it had in the past month or two. It's growing pretty quickly, so I appreciate that. Um, so. Uh, just I, what I'll do, I'll probably in a few days, I'll post another video that's just about the contest to let everybody know what's going on and, and that I've got your, your um, entries into the drawing. And I'll maybe list off the names of who's entered and, and how many they've entered and, how, and, all, and so forth. So anyway, enough of that. I don't want to take up too much of this video about that, but I just want to say thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now you get to like this video, subscribe to my channel, share it out. Listen to the random iTunes song of the moment, which today is, oh, now this is weird. This is King of the Road by Ace Cannon. Um, I always thought it was by Roger Miller, and I'm wondering, because that sounds like Roger Miller's version, I thought, anyway. But that's not the weird part. The weird part is, um, I've shot... A the, this is my second take of this video, and I screwed up on the first one, uh, and I decided to reshoot it. And the random iTunes song of the moment on the first video was King of the Road by Ace Cannon. So that's a little weird. I'm not sure how that happened. Because when I get the random iTunes song, I push the forward button on my playlist, which is already randomly sorted. And I just push the forward button two or three times and I hit play. I just did that. Hit the forward button a couple of times and hit play. And it came up with this song again. That's weird. Which means it's meant to be the random iTunes song of the moment for Wishbone. So, that's it for today, folks. Tune in tomorrow, day 68, where we review Sense of Wonder. The Sense of Wonder by Bob Neal. This is book number two in a trilogy. The first book was called... The Magic of Celebrating Illusion, which I've already reviewed. It's on the site. You can go check that out. Um, and uh, that's it. So tomorrow, The Sense of Wonder. Thanks for watching, folks. We'll see you then. Peace out.